Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to do a quick video just showing off the new stabilization tech inside of DaVinci Resolve. This comes in DaVinci Resolve version 18, which was just recently released like last week at the time of recording this here video. Now the public beta has been available for about a month or so, if not a little bit longer, uh, but I couldn't necessarily get into the beta. It was it was beta software, but now the production version is ready and available for download for free on the Blackmagic website, or you can get the studio version for 300 bucks and get upgrades for free after that, each and every version. So let's dive into this. This is just a, a simple clip. I shot this in 6K and I've already done some color correction and color grading on it. So that's not the point of this, but I do want to show off these four different clips so let me take myself off the screen here uh yeah there we go take myself off the screen so i got four clips here and it's the same clip but i wanted to show the different stabilization that's being used here so if i click on this first clip and again you can see this is shot in b-raw 6k 50 frames per second uh, same for all of these other ones. This is just duplicates. The only difference is the stabilization options that was used on each of these clips. If you look under the inspector again, scroll down for each clip, you'll see stabilization options listed there. First clip is not stabilized at all. So if I play it back, you'll see that it looks okay, but it's definitely got the wobbles a little bit up and down. Cause I didn't shoot that with the stabilized lens. And of course, shooting this with black magic, you do not get in body stabilization. Now the new stabilization tech that's inside of the venture resolve, it's an update to the current stabilization, but it also, uh, they also added a new stabilization tech for black magic users that have the gyro information built into the camera. So, the first clip is unstabilized, as I mentioned before. Second clip, this has been stabilized. And let's see, the third clip has been stabilized too, but I also checked the zoom option in the stabilization uh, settings here. And then the last clip, the fourth and final clip, this is stabilized, but it was using the camera gyro information from my Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera, and it does have the zoom on there. So let's do a quick comparison. Okay, so we got the first one here that has no stabilization. The second one without a zoom, the third one with the zoom. So let's look at the one with the zoom versus the first one without stabilization. So here we go, we'll just hit play. Not bad, right? Okay, now this, 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 isn't, this isn't bad, but this isn't great either. Okay, and again, this was the stock stabilization that's built into the to the DaVinci Resolve app. First problem I have is right here, the subject gets out of the frame. Part of that's my fault. Part of that is the stabilization because it has the zoom perspective shown on here. All right, so let's compare that to this one that doesn't have the zoom and watch what happens. I hit play. Notice there's a bit of a jelloing and warping and all kinds of craziness going on going on along the edges of the screen. Now, granted, if you want to keep that on your on your system uh, for your for your your videos, you have at it. I don't recommend it. I highly recommend you do the zoom option when you're dealing with footage like this. All right, so now let's take a look at the stabilization with the gyro information. That's clip number four here. So again, it has the zoom. And it's set to, you know, 100% strength. All of them are set to 100% strength. So let's go ahead and play this back. Looks good, looks good, nice and stable. Very, very good. This is like way better, way better in comparison. So let's take a look. You notice on my timeline here, I have a couple of marks. Um, and that's basically just wanted to show some points of, uh, of interest, if you will. So if we look at the, the two marks here, this is with the regular stock stabilization in the zoom. And this is with the new stabilization tech with the zoom. And these frames, they match up quite nicely. But what about the other parts of it? So let's go back to when he's running up the field and it starts to cut him off 
right about there. If I go to that same point in the other one with the new gyro information, he's still in the frame. So in addition to keeping the subject into the, in the frame, you're still going to get smooth footage. And again, if you just play this back, this is really, really good. Nice and smooth. But this is just, you know, one of the features that are inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. Personally, I am quite excited about this. Uh, again, this came out, the beta version came out several weeks ago. But this new version from production side is beautiful. You have the new stabilization. You have uh, even better motion tracking for things if you want to do with um, power windows and compositing. Uh, just overall performance boost. The Gen 5 color science, the way it renders inside of this, it's just, oh, everything is great. And Adobe, I'm telling you, you better be worried, Adobe, because DaVinci is doing this quite nicely for a flat fee of 300 bucks. Again, if you're curious about DaVinci Resolve, try it out for free. Um, the free version works really good too. Granted, if you don't have, um, you don't get GPU acceleration in the free version, and they cut out a few effects, but for the most part, it's still pretty daggum good for free. Or just fork over 300 bucks and get a license, and it's totally worth it. Be sure to check out all of the other links down in the video description to help support me, because they are affiliate links. And uh, if you got any questions, shoot me a comment or um, tag me over on social media. All right, folks, continue to create and dominate and be safe out there. Peace.